San Paul, how do you do the hair? I don't like my hair shedding. So, for the hair, actually, you have to make uh, imagine the shape first. You have to imagine the fa shape first. Uh, imagine a cloth or pepper. Pepper. On your head, like this. Like this. This is head, right? So hair is around the head, right? Yeah, just just uh, pretending this is head, and then yeah, you you have to make the shape first, the main shape. Like if it's going for this case, it's like she's from facing there to facing there. So from facing there, she was like this, right? Ponytail. It's here, this point. The the end of the ponytail, and then when when she when she moved to here, it moved here, but because of the uh, effect, the gravity of her hair, it's still here. It's still here. So I connect here to uh, her hair to here, and there's the wind also, like to make it impact, you know. Going there, wee 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 wee, like that. Yeah, that's swing of the ball. Mm -hmm. So if you if you just make it like down, it's kind of meh, right? For this action pose. Okay, but for make cat, the cat. normal hair, maybe for the beginning. Mm. For the mo normal hair, yeah, hair shading actually you have to every shading. <laughs> You you have to imagine what kind of the shape it is first, because if you're not imagining uh, imagine it first from the shape, you you'll no clue what you have to make for the shape like that. Okay, for the normal shape, uh, maybe like this. Okay, so the hair shape is like this. Imagine it's like this. For the beginning, actually, uh, you have to decide the like source first, right? From here, maybe, and then maybe we add black. Like. A mistake. Cut them. I still using one layer, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, you have a tendency of using uh, one layer. I uh, wonder why. Because shading hair is kind of tricky, also depending what type of hair. Like, um, is it straight or curly or? Uh, extremely curly like that or even though it's short extreme short like boys it's kind of tricky to how to shape each hair it's, it's kind of tricky that's why you have to think about the basic first how uh, how uh, the how you want the yeah. shape first like Not this 26. right and then for me, for me, I usually like this. Um, so this is the light source from here. So the shade will be around here, right? That hair reminds that. me of Hinata, to be honest. But first, I I usually just uh, gradient use the gradient. So pick your darker color. And then use like maybe a brush or whatever brush that soft that has soft edge too. If uh, you don't have soft edge, um, you can be like like touch, you know, like touch your pen tab, so it won't be that um, 
but it's pigmented, colored like this. I usually I usually use this kind of technique. Um like around here or oh, around here and here. Usually this this kind uh this this kind of thing it's kinda important also because you have the edge of the what is this called? I'm Pepeka, what is this called? Bangs! bangs yeah bangs. Yeah. Oh. yeah after this you can detail things because the shape uh, is like the hair going here 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 and here like Should we mess with the there are so there is so many so many parts right so many parts and then you you can details every parts first like maybe here ah i forgot to tell you i also usually use that gradient on her root 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 and then you can detail things like this. Separate them first if you want to. If you don't want to be confused. Like this. See, it already separated, right? Oh, this one too. Why not? Okay, after you separate this, you can use the shade color and going like this. Oh, okay, I'll already do It's kinda like it that. It's kinda scuffed though, because it isn't. The right there isn't colored here. This is why I prefer pa uh, painting, because I can detail every part as much as what I want when I shading. Because I can't imagine things from the start. I usually imagine things after I shade also. Huh? How do you draw a <laughs> ear? <laughs> yeah, like I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to. That looks absolutely disgusting. Holy shit! I didn't. Hmm? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to draw. Not air, but air. Ear? Oh my god! Like. Air. What do you put air? Rukai, thanks for follow. And then after this, you can add more darker color for uh, the <coughs> longest part from the uh, furthest part. I mean, from the light source, like for this, you know, detailing things also. Air. Air. Not air. Like that. How how I draw ear? Yeah, later. No, no, it was because of Elodie. Huh? Elodie is oh. air, not air. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty done actually. It's kind of simple like this. How I shade the hair, and then it's scarf. Okay. I'm sorry, but yeah, I just want to tell you the point. And then after shade, you can add the highlight to some. Some people add the highlight on her, on their drawing, the, uh, on their hair drawing. Uh, sometimes when I feel want to, I just add the lighter color and apply it but sometimes people use the luminosity also but i'm not using that because it's too shiny for me and uh distracting other parts because it's too shiny i kind of shade like this The lower part also okay, maybe like that. And then after that, we can add the backlight. 
backlight usually I usually use blue, but it depends on what uh, uh, what the background. It depends on what background it is. If the background uh, like uh, around your character is um, what is it? Grass maybe you can add light green, you know, for that. But usually because this we we go without background we can go blue but i usually just use a uh, brush for this because i don't know i just want it soft i don't i don't want it to to be too like this the point is like that you can you can add more things if you want to like this It's not about it's not about putting up with things. It's, it's more about what is fun, what is not fun. It's important to find th <laughs> I'm still waiting play. for him to say ear. <laughs> Hello, Zakaria. Oh, oh my god, ear, ear. Like that. Air. Saddam. But it's yeah. kind of hard also to shade the uh, uh, curly hair, short hair also. But yeah, you just have to imagine how the shape, the hair will be. For me, I like to uh, make the parts, big parts, and then add the add the little things like it, like this. I I usually like this for the shape. Okay, I usually. Okay, imagine this is one part of the hair. And then I, I like to add uh, more small hairs. Like this. Like that. Dude, I'm pronouncing it right. Come on. I also need this brush setting. Um, for me, it actually just be side base. For me, you can s screenshot th this. Okay, after this, wait. I'm usually best color with pen, no setting. Uh, the default one, and then I make brush like this. Uh, this is my setting. Uh, ah! This is my setting. I use I use the hard edge. I use the hard edge because I don't really like use the soft edge because sometimes I need the hard edge inside. Uh, also, like as example. Oh, what? As example, I want to shape this. And I, if I use the if I use the soft shade, uh, so soft edge. Okay. It will be like this, right? For detailing. Both side, both sides is soft. I don't really like it. So I prefer like using hard hard edge like this. But if you want to, but if you want to soft this one, I just use the. Is it blur? Blur. Blur here, like mm. this. I'm kind of interested. In what she's like that. So I can I can freely I can freely soft soften every uh, every part what I uh, what I want to. That's why I use the hard edge instead of the soft edge. See you you guys can see this is the hard edge right? I can just soften it. Okay, wait. Uh, 
I mean, yeah. And then I want to soften this part only. I'll just use blur for this part. Like that. No need for ambient occlusion, isn't it? Ambient occlusion? How do you pick color? I'm sorry, because I'm late. Oh. Color... It's kinda hard to learn. But at least for the basic, you can uh, use this one. Oh, are you done with this? Yeah, blur is the, the default. But the custom one is I only use this brush. This is also the uh, the the um what is it the um, the the default one. But I just uh, change the settings a bit. I just change the settings, like the blending, uh, this dilution resistance, resistance, uh, uh, max then resistance, hard soft, uh, quality, etc. And also this, this is kind of I like this one, min size and density, ninety-five ish percent. And then for the color, okay, I'll minimize this one. For the color, actually, it the color is kind of tricky. Okay, for the base at least, for the base, normal light. Okay, this is normal light. No, daylight. This is daylight. Normal light. Um, as example, we have ball. Actually, I already explained this one before, right? What ball you want to have? Okay, yeah. it's easy to use pink. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. Uh, what's wrong, wonder? No, it's just the way you said have, have <laughs> like that. Uh, pink, pink, uh. pink, pink. Okay, we have pink. Pink ball here, and then um, this is the base color. Base color. Okay, and then we want to shade it. Okay. Uh, I should screenshot this um, color wheel. It's kind of different, okay? Col uh, the color wheel each uh, app. It's kind of tricky also, but at least you you have to know the basic first. Okay, before we go to shade, we ha we have to understand the colors also. So how to? Understand color is um I'll use yellow maybe So this is uh the vertical one This is brightness Wait why it's flip god damn it's flip all this time it's flip <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking it's fucking flip Okay wait Why is it flip <laughs> There Oh where is it? Flip hor horizontally okay Okay this one too uh only this Flip horizontally <laughs> Good job good job Okay uh, uh, this why? It's still. Why? Why I flip this? <laughs> why? I, why I flip this one? Okay. Why? Okay. Whatever. Yeah, the vertical cool. one is brightness. Okay. Bright. 
goodness. The vertical one is saturation. So the more you change to uh, the the more you move the point to the right, the more saturated the color. The more you go into the left, which is the black and white thingy here, it's desaturated. Okay. Um, yeah, that's why you kind of can see like filter hue and saturation here, right? Hey, can you see? Cut them, no. Fuck. Mm, wait. Here. Here. Hue and saturation. Hue. Hue is this wheel. I'll change it. Hue is this wheel. <coughs> hue. So hue is the color. And then saturation is the horizontal one, right? And then. Um, brightness is here. Contrast. Contrast is here. Um, I forgot. Oh, contrast. No, contrast actually. Yeah. Around here. Or here. I yeah. forgot. So. It's kind of diagonal. Yeah, whatever. And then. So. Uh, you have to think that uh, the primary color also uh, is red, yellow, and blue, right? Then blue here. Why I mentioned this? Because this is kind of uh, you have to know because when you want to make the ambient of the color or you want to make the uh, highlight or shade you know you have to know this as well so if i if i uh, if i set this to layer copy wait if I set this to black and white <gasps> Here So yellow is the lightest one, okay Yellow is yellow is the lightest one And this is blue, blue is the darkest one So we just mean You have to go to the yellow if you want to search for a lighter color And you have to go to the uh, blue if you want to go uh, to darker color which is uh, this is kind of for lighter like highlight or this kind of for uh, shade like that blue so that's why you you okay I'll explain it later okay um, okay this is pink this is pink for the first shade Oh god damn no Wow Base color is here by the way, Rin said that she have no idea what she's doing and yet she knows so much. The technique, dude! I mean, the... The brush thingy, how I stroke, it's... I have no idea. And then... We want to set the shade, right? Shade. So the shade, because it's darker, so we have to find it to go into the blue. So we can go. Where, where is it? Where is this? Okay, here. Yeah. 
We can go to the blue. Shade one. Um. So it's from here, the hue. We can go to the blue. Go to the blue to here, but not too far. Okay, just a bit. Just a bit, and then just a bit. Going to the right side. For the for the first for the first shade. You uh, better go to the saturated first, so you can go to the right side Around here, so you can find around here, but move to here, okay? Right. Let's see what we found uh... <laughs> So you, you you don't have to hesitate you know uh to move it uh, too far but not too far okay um it's better to move it less because you can edit that uh, later like this um I shade it okay okay because this is ball we have to make it round you better run run run. Okay, the light source is from here. Okay, I'm Pepega. Wait. From here. Off of here. Like that. Here front, okay. Here front, like from there. Like that. Like that. The first shade is like this. And then you can go to why is why is my name so dang long? Okay, thanks for the follow. And then <laughs> from here, so we we got the we got the shade, right? Got them. Yeah, we got the shade. We got one shade dude. It's here. Shade, shade one. Shading you can get the multiple shading. Usually, uh, for the um cell shade uh, like anime, uh, anime style only have one one level shade, right? But sometimes they they add more shades too. Actually, shading tutorial. So shadow should always be saturated a bit. Yeah, but only the first shade for the shade one or shade two if you have more like that. So I got more. Then <laughs> screen. Uh, am I too loud from your for your stream monitor? Is it okay though? Shall I leave? Huh? Uh, no. 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 Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I just, I mute myself uh, sometimes to speak because, uh, wait, I can post this. I want to do this if you look in Discord later. That's why I don't talk so much. Like, when I when I talk, I mute. Because this is actually really good tips, you know. Uh, okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Keep, keep going. You're doing really great. <laughs> wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure that Phoenix and everybody watching and, and wants to learn and stuff is learning a lot right now. So just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got the, 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 second, the second shade. So from here... We can go... Here, go to the blue, right? And go to the left. If you only have two two shades, go to the left. Mm. Okay. Press that again. Okay here. You can 
make depth of uh, a, a depth tutorial. Depth is kind of hard. Depth is really hard actually. I I'm still learning, but if you guys still want to hear it from me, um, I'm okay <laughs> because when I'm drawing, I I'm seventy five percent have no idea what am I doing so. And 25% it's the base thing, kind of like this. Okay, add more, clipping group. I found it guys, okay here. Like this. It Shade two. Always useful, but this is not uh for me. Ah. Okay, for the next shade, uh, more and more, you you just go to blue, more blue and left, more blue and left like that. But for the first one, you ha you better go to the saturated because it looks fancy, fancy. No, no, no. Actually, it's better. Uh, there's the there's the point that color can get saturated. Actually, uh, from from the base color, from the I forgot the name to the light. Uh, I forgot the name. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can go on. I ate more shade, okay, without I'm uh, showing my color wheel like that. Like this. Like that. And then... So, we have base color, shade... Uh, shade can be multiple, so many, depends on what you need, depends on um, uh, how far the light also. The closest light source, you have to make it saturate, uh, no, contrast from the base color. Like, I told you just move a bit, right? But if the light source is really close, it's nearly so dark actually. Like you, you, you can make it like this, you know, because the light source is so dark, uh, so so close, so close. I mean, like uh, maybe the the object close from fire or. Um, what is it called? Candle like that, like that, kind of like that. Okay. The 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 closest like source to the object, the strongest uh contra uh the shade will be like that. And then after shade, uh, if you want to make highlight, uh, it's the opposite. Okay, this is the base color, right? You have to go to the yellow. Go to here. Like there. And then go to white. If the base color around here, just go there, you know. Okay. Uh, where's the base color again? There. For the highlight, actually, um, you can you can actually make the huge uh, huge gap. You you can move it so far away because you you can you can just decrease the opacity. Yeah. Looking nice. Like that. Or if it's too strong, you can just play around the opacity on the right side. 
behind the my overlay. I'm sorry. Or sometimes actually, I just use yellow, literal yellow, around this yellow. Oh fuck. Mm. Around this yellow, and then I'll just add here to here, you know, and add uh, set it luminosity like this, and then get the edge, soften the edge for the ball, like that. It can be like that too. You can uh, lower the opacity also if it's too bright. Like that. And then there's the back like also. Okay, uh, where's that again? I think around here for the normal. Normal highlight or yellow. Luminosity, fuck off, like that, and then. There's big like also actually if you guys pay attention to um object as example there's um we can make this ball like on the grass maybe like on uh on the grass field on the park there's the okay Here. Right. So this is the shade. Always like that, okay. Go to the blue. Even though it's green, just go to the left, you know. Like that. And then there's the backlight. You guys can add like uh, literally the the shade of the uh, color around it. I usually like that. I'll just add like this. Not shade, just. Feel free that you want to pick, like, just make it sure it's green like that because it's on the green. Yeah, like that. That's the backlight, and it's um like you have to get it like uh, just a bit, you know. Don't don't overdo it. Just just apply it uh, a bit like this. This is big light. What big light? Okay, then it is. It's done. Bounce like yeah, true. That's also true. But uh, the name is big light. I haven't uh, add the backlight here because yeah, I usually just uh, add that when I almost done. I will give you an example from Torchan maybe. Torchan that I done this week I think.
So this is the big clay I did. This piece is amazing. Honestly. This is the big clay, this is the big clay, big clay, big clay. Big clay, big clay, big clay. Like that. Hmm, sure, sure, sure. This is also big leg C. Hmm. Like that. And each people have different uh, mode too because there is the layer modes. You can add, uh, you can use the um, luminosity uh, or even multiply for the shade like that. For me, it's easier for uh, to use multiply now for color plan and shade uh, planning. Where's the light source? Where's the shades? Etc. You know. Uh, Like from here. I use the multiply. And hey, hello, thanks for follow. Yeah, this is this is the base color I did. And then I add multiply here. I color plan. Where's the like source? So the like source is from front top. So the bottom one won't get the like, you know. and she will get the lightning also. So I will get more like here contrast because that's her power. And at the ambient of the like also here, it's not a highlight, but I just want to make it more contrast you know because the light source will be so close like that because uh sometimes i'm not using the highlight depends on what uh, what uh, what material like maybe metal met metal you should add highlight glass you should have uh, add highlight etc Clothes also, maybe you want if the clothes have the 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 clothes is made like polyester clothes, etc. You know, like shiny, shiny thingy. You know, shiny, shiny clothes. You can do that also. Skin also, you can do that also. But it's uh, each person is different. I I'm not usually used the uh, um. Too shiny highlight each part. Like I just use like the like you know, <laughs> like this. <laughs> See, I just hide uh, at the luminosity to make her more shine and staging, you know. But it, what, what kind of purpose is that? Also, it's different. It's different staging. Also, color. If you already understand this kind of base color, you can maybe you can go to the staging uh, section like uh, how to how to shade, where you have to put the shades, where you have to put the highlight, where you have to put the like. Also, it's kinda tricky, but you you can learn that also. So you can not just add like all the. Oh, because the the like is from here. Wait. Because of the like is from here, you can add here, and then this is the base color maybe, and then add more here, and here, and here, you know, like that. So it ki it kind of makes you uh, not brave enough to add the shade, but it depends on what kind of purpose you want the character stage on like maybe you you want the, ca uh, the character is like like i made this one it's like she is she looks like uh going to the sky flying and close to the light right and more looks like more holy thingy right but if i uh give her less uh less shade it 
my just you can took a photo like from camera to the models etc you know it's kind of like that i don't know how to explain because i'm kind of pepe going sorry what about color dodge color dodge uh you can make effect from color dodge you can make how i like to from color dodge uh it Usually, 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 people on uh, Photoshop user user use color dodge to color dodge to uh, make the make the shiny shine make the shine like rosta rostran. Ros uh, usually, color dodge luminosity you can't use it for too much because um, your character will looks like they come from the oil, you know. But it depends on how you apply that. Rostran actually, I I can I can show you Rostran art actually. Rostran use a lot of color dodge, but not actually uh, too much. But he kind of know how to use it. He can he can control still control the color deck. Haita, thanks for follow. As example, this is Rostran's drawing. This is the effect of color deck actually. This, 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 and the ant uh, the edge of the hair. This. So the color deck actually like. Um, the fusion of um, what is it called? Luminosity and overlay. It's kinda like that. Make make the color more saturated and shiny. Sakimi chantu, yes. Sakimi chantu. But uh, the the most popular one of color dots artist is uh, Rostran actually. Then he can control it even though. Yeah, maybe he used the uh, gradient color dodge here, soften the color dodge, not exactly like one block color dot color dodge, you know. He 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 I, I can tell he soft softed for for some spots. If you can see it's really strong here, right? But it's so soft here. Like he he can control it. He can control it like that. <laughs> no, I can. No, I see my art again. After I'm, I saw the first run. Send by. Okay, that's all. Don't begin with this again. <laughs> Don't say that again. The art stuff. No, no, I'm not saying that. Okay. Okay, very nice. Keep going. That's all. That's all for the coloring. Oh, yeah, I just that? I just spoil you a bit about the staging thingy also. But no bullshit, I like your art. Oh, I'm not Yo, hungry. Uzi. Yo, Uzi, I trick also. Smarter, that's definitely did. So, what you guys want to uh, ask about this lesson? <laughs> Any question? <laughs> It feels like I, uh, I'm showing my teaching skill again, right? I did trick. Thanks for follow. Thank you a lot. Yeah, sure. It looks like a gob, you know what the fuck? Because of the highlight is too shiny. If you, if you lower this, you know. Ah, wait. Oh, this is my layer. What the fuck? If I lower this, it's not really shiny, right? It's not looks like a gum. <laughs> it's more like a ball. Yeah, sure. Level up as as effect. What the fuck? <laughs> it's really nice that you did that. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Sure, sure. I'm sorry 
manners, a uh, few words, because I talk a lot. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm That's sorry, fine. Chad. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I literally asked for it, so. Eh? So yeah, good job. But yeah, the f the thing I was uh, sending the message about. Uh, I don't know if you read that message, but we can talk about that uh, later today, actually. Uh -huh. uh, I just had a great idea. We, we, we expanded our brains like seven times. I actually kind of plan of this kind of stream, but for sub only. For sub only? Yeah, and uh, quality you control that, also for sub you only, but I still don't have time for that. I'm I still have a lot of commission, so. You hear that, guys? Sub only. <coughs> Please, depth class. Yeah, maybe later. Okay, I have to learn more. So, I still have to learn so many things, you know. No, but no, but seriously, may, maybe having like uh, one day where you would do Bob like Frost one educational uh, stream uh? could have done like uh, having one educational stream in the future. Uh, could be a really good idea actually for so many people mm -hmm. if, if you were to have like like let's say that you take one day where you work on sketches you know? mm -hmm. like like let's, let's say that Eddie that you made already and then one day you you use that as a as a base for uh, for uh, explaining uh, explaining different things and different coloring and different an uh, anatomy and stuff Mm -hmm. It would have been really, really good, actually. <laughs> so, I would recommend you doing that. When we do... Mixing color is super hard help. Mm, uh, actually, you can do just like this. Sometimes I mix color because I want to make it more bland, you know. Like, maybe... I haven't blend uh, the the skin color to her hair color, so I want to blend it. Okay, so you can just like this, um, because this hair is already uh, light. I can just use the lightest color of her skin like this, and then use the brush with the min. Uh, this setting brush. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm too lazy to explain. This setting brush. And then I just use it like this. Eh? Kinda like that. Or if you want to make a uh, more um, color variation, you can just use the red-ish color like around here around her cheek like this and blend it, blend it after that you know. I did this a lot I did this a lot Gekko, thanks for follow like that for her clothes to like this Or if you want to make a style like, oh, let's add a uh, blue. Yeah, sure, 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 like that. Add ah blue. yes, ah yes. It's more colorful. Just don't stroke it too, too, too hard, okay? Because it depends on the pressure. Like that. So you can see it's it's kind of blending, not not uh, like you have the color. It's on like if you stroke it too much, it will be like this. It's not blending. But sometimes, if you already uh, for me, usually if I already got the color, got the color like this, I pick it, pick this color because this color is already blend because of the brush. It will be different if I pick this one again. You can see from my color wheel. 
it's different. Right. Because it's already blend to the hair color like that. So I use this one, this blended color to blend the other parts like that. This is usually for the backlight also. Like that. Mm. When we do smooth edge and sharp edge, it depends on the surface. If you have the and the style too, and the style too. Sometimes this uh, their style that don't want to be too soft at so many spots. Uh, even though in realistic it has to but if you have the semi uh, semi semi cell shade like semi shade like self so soft cell shade soft cell shade okay you can just use uh, use like a bit soft like around here like blend it here you know because this is the round this is round, right? Boobs. I usually did that here. Yeah, I usually like this. But because of uh, for the realistic, actually, they more 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 soft. The soft range is really uh, wide, like this. And it depends on the depends on the shape too actually. Like that. Team Ring Kikuta, thanks for the follow. And why uh okay. And then why I leave this one still hard age? Right. Why why I still leave this one as hard age? Because uh it's close to the uh it close to the object that make the shade here so it actually this this one this shade is actually uh, the what is that word in English it's made from here like because the light is from above right it's going there you know I make this hard and because it's close to so the more uh, the object close the more hard uh, the edge of the shadow the the further object uh, the soft uh, the more so uh, the softer uh, the shade will it will be like that so if as example maybe i can make this to you wait Inside. Maybe I, I I want to wait. Oh whatever. No, I don't want to mess up. Okay. I want to make her reflection. Oh yeah, that's the word reflection. What the fuck? Uh, layer copy. Okay, I want to make her shadow just uh yeah like that. Uh, and then... What the fuck is this song? Like this? Maybe she's close to the ground. Okay, you can just use this uh, uh like this. Oh no. It's like this, the, the shadow, it's like this, okay. But if she far away up there, like here, here's the ground maybe, here's the ground, like that. I can make the edge softer. Or you just use blur, you know, blur tool. Like that. So the more, the more, uh, uh, the closer, the closer object, uh, will, closer object will make the harder shade. 
and the further object will make the softer uh, shape like that like that so that's why I still keep this one on the hair uh, shade uh, on her um, face it's still hard because the the bang is really close to the face to her forehead like that like that it's kind of like that oh my lord I love that follow gift thank you <laughs> Yo, Gato! I don't remember it was you or Elolo who said that they preferred Photoshop color wheel. How does it differ for, from Sai for picking colors? Photoshop have the... So, each, 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 each app yeah. have different color wheel actually. Yeah, they have different color wheels, but you can actually change the color wheels. You can get yeah. the paint tool Sai si one inside of uh, Photoshop. Now the store is already closed. I can't buy an ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but that's kind of your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> Why I end up with teaching like this? I don't know. 